Hi there. So I have this Echo Smart Echo 11 tankless water heater that I had installed and about a year and a half ago. It's been working great. Lately it's been making banging, knocking noises, pinging, whatever you want to say, that kind of sounds like a regular hot water tank when there's a lot of calcium in there. Um, kind of like little rocks banging around. So based on research, um, like a lot of you, it's like, oh, this thing needs to be decalcified because the calcium builds up apparently pretty rapidly on these guys because of the uh, very fast, very high heat uh, uh, that happens on these elements and that there's, you know, a small amount of water in there, heats rapidly, and uh, apparently that causes calcium deposits on the heating elements pretty rapidly. So it needs to be cleaned out, what, every six months or a year? And so I'm overdue. Um, it seems like most of what I'm seeing, it says to take off the, take out the two elements, right? So, you know, turn off your water, um, drain the water so that you don't have a lot of mess. And so I've disconnected the um, flexible lines here you see hanging out. What I did was, by the way, I put it in series with my hot water tank, my existing gas fired. Um, and I put it in after it. And so what I did was turn this off so I'm not using gas. But in the winter, because it's a tiny unit, it can be difficult to get the temperature up to where I want it for the tub in general or perhaps anything in the winter. Although so far it's been good, but we have been having mild winters here in Ohio. But you have the option of turning the gas unit on to like vacation mode, real low just to preheat that cold water, and that lets this guy do the rest of it. And uh, if it fails, as long as it doesn't leak, but if it fails, then I can simply turn this one on as a backup. So I really recommend that plan to have the cold water first go in your um, regular tank, and then have it come out of the hot and into the cold side of your Echo 11, and then having the hot come out and feed the rest of the house. So you kind of have a uh, backup plan or a kind of a hybrid plan if the water gets really cold. Anyway, um, I did a tug on these guys here. I took off the wires. Obviously I pulled the, I actually have the circuit breaker off of the box. I have a disconnect pullout. And um, I started to crank on that top, um, nut if you want to call it which is supposed to allow me to get the elements out and it really started warping bending these guys here and it's like you know what um if i did that every year it would probably cause something to break fail whatever and i just didn't like the idea plus if i put it all back together would that thing leak i believe you have to get new o-rings um which isn't a big deal if you had something to grab onto here with one wrench and then grab onto the nut head with another so that you weren't torquing on this unit here that's kind of <laughs> it's mounted into a plastic base and something's going to give so that's why i had these wires off because i was trying that first i'm going to put them back on but anyway here's what i'm going to do i'm going i disconnected the water after i drained at the base of the um you know that guy's got a regular drain so that the Water level up here, I opened up the upstairs spigots to let air in, let it all go down so that all of this drained and just, you know, having the tank drain a little bit, then I stopped it, knowing then this would be all clear. And so that's what I did. Then I disconnected these compression fittings, which go on pretty easily and I would think would be pretty robust using it year to year. I took out the, this is the cable that came with the unit. And it seemed to me that rather than taking all that apart, especially since it's difficult to get to, and it was done at the factory, I'd rather just take out these ends here in my cutoff box, my cutoff switch, uh, since it's easier to do. And then now I can just lift this whole thing right out because there's, I guess, one, two, and then down here, a third mounting screw where the, the screw heads stick out so that this just fits and pulls down and locks on it. So I checked it, it's movable. I'm just gonna lift it up and pull it out, bring it into my kitchen. 
And because there's a valve on that side that's electrically controlled, I'm going to pour in vinegar on this side so that it fills all of this to there. It shouldn't leak out of there. And if it does, I'll, I'll tilt this so it doesn't leak. But I want to have vinegar in there a while. Then I'll pour it out. Um, I'll probably set it a couple hours, maybe. They say three hours, I guess. But since it's going to be a little bit of vinegar, the acidic aspect of it will probably get lost pretty quick. So I'll, maybe I'll do it like the first one for an hour. Pour till it's filled with white vinegar. Let it sit. Then tilt it and pour it out. And then put some more in there maybe do that three times and i'm guessing i won't be able to look in there to inspect because i don't want to take it apart i'm guessing that'll do the trick so anyway that's my plan um, i'm not going to show any more because i think that's pretty self-descriptive and then of course reverse the process put it back on here reconnect the fittings i'll have already connected this up um, and uh, i guess actually i didn't even take the I didn't need to take the cover box off. Again, I was thinking I was going to do this guy here, but I just don't want to risk breaking any of this stuff. So this next time, this will all be able to stay together. And I'll grab the pigtail cord here that came with it, lift it off, um, put it back on, reverse the way it was, and uh, make sure there's no leaks. Uh, purge the air out, you know, by having all the spigots open until it runs without gurgling and then make sure it's working properly and hopefully won't make any more of that noise. So that's it. I hope that helps you. Um, I uh, don't really know of a way to pause this and add another feature, but I will put a comment to indicate whether or not I was successful um, when I upload this to YouTube. Take care. Hope this helps you out and God bless. Bye.